I'm, I'm motivated by fear. That fear of fear. I hate being scared to do something. It's very simple. This is what I believe. And I'm willing to die for it. Yeah. Period. You can't be scared to die for the truth. The truth is the only thing that's ever going to be constant. And you can't fear what might happen to you if you were to tell the truth. Because what happens to you if you don't tell the truth is worse than telling the truth will ever be. The first step before anybody else in the world believes it is you have to believe it. There's no reason to have a plan B because it distracts from plan A. And I think psychologically, the advantage that that, that gives me over, over a lot of people that I I'm, have been in competition with in different situations is it's difficult to take the first step when you look how big yeah, the, exactly. the task is. The task is never huge to me. It's always yeah, me one brick. I, I believe... Uh, and I learned very young that you you don't try to build a wall. You don't set out to build a wall. You don't say, I'm going to build the biggest, baddest, greatest wall that's ever been built. You don't start there. You say, I'm going to lay this brick yeah. as perfectly as a brick can be laid. There will not be one brick on the face of the earth that's going to be laid better than this brick that I'm going to lay in this next 10 minutes. Yeah. And you do that every single day. And soon you have a and wall. And soon you have a wall. I've, I've never really viewed myself as particularly talented. Where I excel is ridiculous, sickening work ethic. You know, while the other guy's sleeping, I'm working. While the other guy's eating, I'm working. The separation of talent and skill is one of the, 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 the greatest misunderstood concepts for people who are trying to excel, who have dreams that want to do things. Talent you have naturally. Skill is only developed by hours and hours and hours of beating on your craft. I always knew that I could work hard enough. I did, I, there, there wasn't an issue with discipline or there wasn't an issue uh, with, with the ability to sacrifice or the willingness to sacrifice. There's no easy way around it. No matter how talented you are, your talent is going to fail you if you're not skilled. Mm -hmm. You know, if you don't study, if you don't work uh, really hard and dedicate yourself to being better every single day. Mm -hmm. this, uh, this one year, my father had his shop and he decided for whatever reason that he wanted a new wall on the front of his shop. So he tore down probably about uh, you know, 16 feet high and probably about uh, 30 feet long. He just completely tore the wall down. And my brother and I had to dig a six foot hole. We <laughs> for would the mix foundation. It, for you know, the foundation. Right? We would mix in the concrete by hand. Yeah. A year and a half. We were building this wall for a year and a half. Every day after school, we would come and mix in concrete, put it in the hole, doing it. And it was just myself and my little brother. And I remember standing back, looking at that wall, saying, there's going to be a hole here forever. A year and a half later, we laid the, the final brick. Yeah. And my father stood back with my brother and I, and I know he planned this. He says he, does, he, says he didn't, but I know he was, had been planning this yeah. and writing this for, his, <laughs> for, for the past two years. But he, we stood back, we looked at the wall, and he looked at me and my brother and said, now, don't y'all never tell me that you can't do, do something. something. And walked into the shop. As a child, my parents always told me, you can be whatever you want to be. You can do whatever you want to do. And... You know, that, that office, that position, the, the highest office on the face of the earth, it was something I heard my parents saying it, but I didn't totally believe it. Yet I went out in the world and I carried myself and I held my head high and I stood there and I looked people in their eyes and I talked to people as if I was deserving of everything that this planet has to offer. I just I really want to say to, to children out there and to, to people who are watching, Confucius said one time, he who says he can and he who says he can't are both usually right. Uh, 
uh, having the opportunity to to study greatness. And anytime you have that that opportunity, um, there are certain there are certain intricacies that will make clear who you are. It becomes that much more clear who you are. The definition of who I am is very clear to me, and it also redefines who I want to be in that I know for a fact that I'm stronger than I thought I was. You know, you can't help but ask yourself the question, what would I do if I was in Muhammad Ali's shoes? I'm not the best at anything. Do you know what I mean? Eddie Murphy is funnier than I'll ever be. Denzel is more powerful than I'll ever be. I think that, that my strength is I can do everything well. You know, I can do a little bit of everything. And that's what I concentrate on to be my strength. I'll never be able to com compete with Denzel. I enjoy um, connecting with, with, with people and, and ideas and, you know, it, it's... I have a mission statement, so every year for probably the past 10 years, I've worked out a mission statement for myself. And for the last few, few years, the mission statement has stayed the same, and it, you know, it's been improve lives, right? So when, when I go into something, I'm looking for how the quality of this piece could potentially improve lives, but it's all along the way. It's when you make the movie and how you're interacting with people in the process and, you know, the, the, the concept of improving lives runs through the center of everything I do. And then I realize that the, the, the way to improve lives is to continually improve yourself, right? So with that, every, every morning when I, when I get out of the bed, you know, I, I haven't fixed everything in the world yet so there's always something to do i want my life i want my my work uh, my my family i want it to mean something if if you are not making someone else's life better then you're wasting your time you know like the, the your life will become better by making other lives better a few months ago i said that i believe that uh, <laughs> if i chose to i could be the president of the United States. And I think uh, as I've, I've had a chance to intellectualize why I said that. Yeah. And I think that there's a certain delusional quality that all successful people have to have. You have to believe that something different than what has happened for the last 50 yeah, million yeah, years right. of history, you have to believe that something different can happen. The one thing that I, that I truly try to communicate in the interpretation of Ali is the complex simplicity of greatness yeah. and how greatness is not this um, wonderful, esoteric, elusive, uh, God-like feature that only the special among us are, will ever taste. You know, it's something that truly exists in all of us. Loss is bound to joy. Like pain and suffering are bound to joy. The, the being able to survive something is actually a big part of being able to find that next wave of joy. You appreciate um, smaller things. I hated being scared, you know, that, that I didn't want to even take the meeting. I hated, I just hated that being scared to do something. And I think what developed uh, in, my, in my early days was the, the attitude that I started attacking things that I was scared of. 